Bing Chat has arrived. Now, what is Bing Chat? This is a Microsoft's version of Chat GPT. They have integrated artificial intelligence chatbot in their browser and in their search engine Bing. So this setup is also known as Bing AI. Chat GPT and Bing Chat both are called artificial intelligence chatbots. Chat GPT is based on a machine learning model GPT 3.5 in their free version and GPT 4 in their paid version. While Bing Chat is using the latest GPT 4 and it seems that it is an improved version of Chat GPT. But we are going to look in this video. Now this video is a tutorial for beginners. I'm going to show you how to use Bing Chat. I'm going to start from the basics. What are AI chatbots? What they can do for us? and how an ordinary person can benefit from chat GPT or Bing Chat. Previously, I have made a video about chat GPT. So this video is focused on Bing Chat and I have selected five tasks that we will be doing on Bing Chat. And there are two most important things that you should understand in order to get the best results from AI chatbots. And I will highlight those things in this video. We will also be comparing the pros and cons of chat GPT and Bing chat. And at the end of this video, I will show you a comparison table between chat GPT and Bing chat with their pros and cons listed. There is a timestamp in the description of this video and you can watch a particular part of the video, but you will fully understand this only if you watch the full video. So without further ado, let's get started after a short intro. Now, in order to use Bing Chat, you need to install Microsoft Edge browser and log in with your Hotmail account. As you can see that I am logged in and you simply type bing.com. Bing is a search engine just like Google. And now there is a chat tab here. You click on that. And now this is the user interface of Bing Chat. The key difference between Bing Chat and Chat GPT is that Bing Chat is a browser-based artificial intelligence chatbot. While you can only use Chat GPT on their website. So Microsoft has combined search engine with AI chatbot. So there are some example questions you can ask. Now before I show you how to use Bing Chat, because it is a beginner's tutorial, let me quickly explain few terms. This is a term we commonly use GPT. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. This is a model trained on three main sources, books, research articles and websites. As you can see, this is a simplistic illustration of AI chatbots. In the circle, I have shown you the three main sources that we use to train the model. Then we apply some machine learning algorithms and it makes the AI chatbot. And now we input text and we get output text. Input text is our question and output text is the answer. Now the lab behind chat GPT, GPT-3, GPT-4 is OpenAI. And basically OpenAI partnered with Microsoft to integrate GPT-4 into their search engine and into their browser. So this is what is going on. The core technology is same for chat GPT and Bing chat. Now what Bing chat does for you? As I mentioned earlier that this is a browser based AI chatbot. So it can act as a browsing assistant. When you are browsing any website, you will see a tab insight and if you click on that it will give you some insight about that website and then the main function is that it can answer any question and your imagination is the limit you can ask any possible question and it will try to answer but for this video i have selected these five tasks that i am going to ask bing chat and see what reply we get and as i mentioned in the beginning of this video that there are two most important things that you should understand in order to get the best results from any AI chatbot. The first is the text prompt. Giving a good text prompt is an art and you will learn this with time. And the second important thing is the follow up questions. Once you have asked the first question, follow that question in the same thread or in the same window. And this is what we are going to do now. On Bing Chat user interface, if you look near the bottom, these are three conversation styles in Bing Chat. 
if you select this creative you will notice that the color of the browser also changes so it is now purple color so in the balance mode it is bluish and in the precise mode it is greenish now if you select creative mode and ask any question it will try to give you an imaginative entertaining engaging type of content while in the precise mode it will give you the fact based reply and the balanced mode is in the middle so let us use the balanced mode and i put my first question which i have already pre typed so i just copy paste now i click on this arrowhead and it shows me searching for the answer so i ask the list of cheapest and healthy goods in australian supermarkets and the important thing to note here is that it not only shows me the list of the cheapest and healthy items but also the source websites and this is the best part of bing chat that it gives you the citations chat gpt does not provide you the references to the sources and therefore cannot be used in research while bing chat can be used in the research work because you get the citations if you ask any scientific or research based question and if it finds the answer in any article it will give you the resource reference and you can use that in your bibliography so i can click on this website to check the actual source so let me ask my second question which is what are the five best marketing channels for selling online courses and it gives you the answer and the citations and one of the citation is teachable which is a well renowned platform for selling online courses and they might have some article on their website now this is my next question i am seeking a cover letter for the position of a mechanical design engineer and i am giving some additional information that it should highlight that i have knowledge of australian standards such as this number and i can use solid works and inventor for 3d modeling of mechanical components i press arrow and it has given me a cover letter but i'm not quite happy with this because i have used chat gpt for the same purpose and that has given me a very detailed reply and this was the reply from chat gpt when i gave it the same text prompt i gave to bing chat and this cover letter is much better than the one i got from bing chat and there is significant difference so we will talk about the key differences and pros and cons of both of these ai chatbots at the end of this video now one of the most common use for bing chat could be trip planning and you might be able to relate with this that when we want to travel abroad we put a lot of time and effort to look for cheap flights so let me ask bing chat for the cheapest flight from brisbane to islamabad and i will give a date of departure and a date of return so let us see what we get and now it is asking for one way or round trip so i click on round trip and it is showing me all these flights so as i mentioned earlier that this is the main use of bing chat as a web browsing assistant and now let us ask our final question final example for this video can you list five most scary risks and dangers of ai tools for humans and it has given me eight instead of five so these are some of the risks and dangers associated with ai tools so let me show you another use of bing chat let's say i want to visit khan academy website and there is a bing icon here if i click on that i will see these options and if i click on this insight it will show me some insight about khan academy as you can see here even the monthly traffic on the website so whenever you visit any website you can click on this bing icon and you can get some insight a very cool feature and this is the modern way of searching the internet and these ai chatbots are changing the way we will be searching the internet so this is a quick comparison of bing chat and chat gpt's free version bing chat is browser based one of the pros bing chat uses the latest gpt4 it provides citations it has three different styles but the big question is whether there is a significant difference in these styles and we will see this when we use this for a longer period of time 
Bing Chat has better support for more languages other than English, but it only allows limited sessions. And there are some reports I was reading on the websites about hallucinations or the wrong results, you can say in simple words. On the other hand, Chat GPT has no restrictions. It remembers most previous prompts. So let me explain this further. So this is my Chat GPT console. And I have asked this question nearly one month ago. What are the top 10 online learning platforms for 2023? And let us see what happens if I ask a follow up question. I type a question here. So now I typed a new question after one month in the same thread. Can you give some more details of the e-learning platform you mentioned at number eight? And at number eight is Udacity. So let us see what it gives us. And see, it remembered that conversation which was made nearly a month ago. But this is not the case with Bing Chat. And I was reading on a website that after a certain number of text prompts in one conversation, Bing Chat starts to get hallucinations or starts to give you wrong results. And probably this could be the reason why Microsoft has limited number of text prompts in a given conversation. I think it's 15. And there are also limitations on number of sessions you can have per day. So they have recently changed it and they are continuously changing. So you can get the latest data from their website. And that is it for today. I hope you like this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.